This is the Volvo. And we're getting a new Volvo because she has um, been with me a while. So we're gonna get a safe, safer car. Getting ready for my car journey. I'm gonna take this jacket off though. It's not aesthetically pleasing, but I love having it. It's my blanket. Um, we're going to uh, go get the car. And I don't have, like I said, the authentic um, thing to keep that up there. So I don't know how long I'm going to be driving with that, like that. And hopefully you can see me as this rattles on the road. Um, you're not going to be able to see me, but I think this is the safest place to keep it if I am vlogging. Just because... I'm sure you guys don't mind, I want my safety. I'm gonna buy one of those things that you can keep it in your car and actually film and drive. Feet, turn left. So, um, yeah, sorry you can't see me, but this is probably safer for now until I get the one that hangs. Um, I'm going to, I always see people on the scene driving to what they're, hold on driving to where they're going and it's I, I think I don't know why I akin it to um, like action shots or something so I don't know hopefully that's interesting because we are in motion action shots um, okay so um, yesterday to prepare for getting my car. Um, it was kind of, uh, I wanted to get, you know, whenever you are selling your car, you wanna make sure, even for yourself, that you know, things are in place, um, not to lecture. So, you know, got the, um, Turn right onto Connecticut 69 North, then turn right onto Long Swamp Road. I got the $20 emissions test um, I will disclose to them that this needs an oil change. It's definitely due. Um, and also, um, in full disclosure, I knew I was gonna sell it and I knew, okay, my blinker didn't go on. This blinker, I gotta disclose that too. The blinker doesn't work. I don't think the blinker works very well. Um, so, basically, I, you know, I'm being honest in my video, you, you really want to um, keep ta tally on simple things like your license and registration. Um, I have my license and registration and I knew it was in my wallet and I had that peace of mind at least, you know. I don't know why or maybe it's just me, we like dread those things and we're like, oh, I have it, it's in my wallet. But we don't like check up on it. It is in your wallet, but why do you have to like know it's there and not check up on it and make sure it's really there? I know it was there. So, long story short, I go to the town hall because um, I didn't, I went to the town hall because I knew that if I was gonna sell it, I had, I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't have my, um, I was due to pay my bill. And she told me that I d was driving without a um, registration for a year. And I said, what? I know, I said, I have it. I, I, and she said, no, no, no. And so I, she said, go online and you can pay your registration, right? Pay for it online. And then you can print out your, um, print out your registration. You pay the fee. So I said, okay, so I go to, um, I go online. I hope you guys don't think less of me with this story, but anyway, so I go online and I, I don't really care. I'm just talking, but anyway, so I go online to pay and I pay, oh, no, it won't. Did I pay first? No, it wouldn't even let me pay the registration fee because it said I was due for an emissions test. So I go and I get my emissions test 
which should have been done anyway. These are things that we we're like, oh, you know, I really. Anyway, so I go get that done. This might all get cropped out. You can't even see my face. So I go to get that done and then I go back to go pay the registration and it was like $100. I was late. So it was $120 to do all that, right? $20 admissions fee, $100 registration fee. And I think for me it was just a little bit late, so I thought it was a little bit late. And so now it won't let me print my... I'm telling you this story so you can avoid my stupidity, basically. So now I go online and it says I can print my... Um, all I did was go on dmv.com, I think it was Connecticut or something, and then it goes... Um, dmv.com connecticut slash online services and, and you'll scroll down and it says renew registration and all you do is type in your name and your, the number on your um, on your license and it will bring you to your profile so it's really easy and um anyway so then I go back online and it won't let me print my registration and I was like whoa how am I supposed to get my registration because you can't sell your car without a registration and, on, and you need your title which um, I had the title. Um, so I go in my car to look for, no, 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 that's not what I did. I called them to try and get, to tell them that online it said that it wouldn't print and I needed to call them. And they said, um, what did they say? No, I got the machine and it said there was a 50 minute wait. So while I'm waiting, I was just rummaging through just my uh, registration to see it. Turns out my registration says that it expires on year 21. We're only in year 20. So I wasn't driving. So I had the registration, but the problem arose where I didn't pay the $100 and possibly it was the emissions test that I had not done that expired my registration automatically. Miles, Hold on. Right onto South Street. Okay. Just want to hear my GPS. So I had the registration in my car. Long story short, point of the story that hopefully help all of you, just when you get your registration, keep it in your car because now Turn right onto South Street. Okay, so so now when you need your registration and it won't print online you could just go in your car and you'll have your registration and you'll see that it was never expired in the first place and you have that and I paid up my um, paid up my late fee online for my car Continue for five miles. and voila that is all done <laughs> so that's a long story that you can um, I guess that's a long story now let's go to the uh, DMV or not the DMV go to the dealership and get the car and I will tell you what kind of car it is and we will show you and I'm running a little bit late to be honest I was supposed to be there in 20 minutes but I think I'm gonna be 25 minutes late and you're better off being 25 minutes late than getting in an accident so I'm not too upset about that but you know uh, yeah so I will be there soon and we'll go get the new car and this will uh, and this story's over, so you made it through the story I just told. <laughs> oh man, I was so, I honestly kind of gave myself, I got, I wasn't nervous, I would say, but I was so tired, and I, I think I just was so tired um, here, I was so sleepy, and I had to clean the car out, I had to get it vacuumed, I had to do the emissions test, the registration, pay that, um, yeah. So, but I'm so excited 
Okay, so yeah, we'll see you at the dealership. Woo! Okay, I think we're possibly on the road. And yeah, so we are, I think we're on the road possibly. I've been driving a lot of back roads here for 20 minutes and I'm, my GPS is taking me that way. It could be because I went maybe the wrong way on the highway and they rerouted me. But I'm looking at some dealerships. Oh wait, we are here. I was gonna say, it's a Volvo dealership. Hey, uh, yeah, I better pull in here and turn around because I couldn't make that right turn. So I'm gonna turn around into the gas station. Probably get honked at by somebody for not, I don't know why. And, well, yeah. Okay, I think we're here. This is a Volvo dealership. Okay. Um. Today's interesting day. I'm doing, I'm trying to do a, a 500 calorie deficit between diet and exercise. So I got my, oh, hi dad. I'm coming. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we're turning into the Volvo station. I'm excited. It's really pretty, the car. It's black. I think I saw Avril Lavigne driving one like that one time. Was it black? I don't know. But I know she had a Volvo like that. Your destination is on the right. Okay, let's turn this off. We're here! We'll look around a little. Hi! Here's the keys. Yes, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Where's my father? Over there? Parked right in that the black exit. Okay. Do you have a bathroom? Okay. I left all of my stuff in there, okay? Okay. Well, I just for your convenience, if it all flies on the floor, don't worry about it. Okay, so today we are dropping off the old car. This is another day. We came to see the other car. Everything looks good. Did a test drive, test um, tested it, and now we are going to trade in. Um, or drop off uh, whatever they decide to do with this older model of a Volvo Which has been a really good car to me. I like how it drives And now we are getting the XC60 I'm excited We're back in the dealership Get ready. Of course, I got to see what the situation is over here. I don't think any of these showroom cars are mine. That's probably not. Yeah, that's not mine. Don't be afraid to ask stupid questions like, are the showroom cars mine? What, what am I gonna drink? Let's look. Hmm. Dark roast. Starbucks blonde coffee. Never had that. Dark roast. Medium coffee. Pike Place medium roast. I did the blonde roast. If you're wondering how that story. I got the blonde roast. And look how nice the Volvo is, I got. Got your drinks all set up too. They're ready for you up there. It's ginger ale, water, Dr. Pepper, half and half, Diet Coke. There was a time in my life when I drank Diet Coke and I would go for the Diet Coke, but not anymore. It's bad for you. And here's the new car. That's not me in there, I'm filming. engine on driving home in the new car 